now comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and explode this. We're going to open up a new presentation file. Go to create view and it should be your assembly that's in there. Uh, looks like I haven't actually saved mine yet, which is a pretty crucial part. So let's call it assembly two, that's fine. I already have an assembly one somewhere. Yes to all, let's keep our changes that we made. That'd be the extra nook here for getting the keys out. And now that it brings it in place, it looks like an assembly file, but you have different options up here. We're gonna choose tweak components, and I'm gonna check that continuous move is on. Now all I have to do is tell it what things I want to move. So in this case, I want both of those nuts to move at the same time. I grab the arrow and drag up a little bit. Hit the plus for apply. Because continuous move is on, as I go to select more things, they will move with it. Now I can't actually move those screws yet. So that was a, a misstep on my part. Let me just undo that and let's start over again. All right. So we have continuous move on, I have my first nut selected, second nut selected. I'm just going to drag it up just a little bit until it's off of that surface. Hit apply, grab the next piece, drag it up a little bit more. Hit apply. I want both of those washers to come up. This should be the easiest part of the project. By the way, both of those keys need to come up. The washers again. And each time we're just going to grab that little arrow up there and drag it up. You have to hit that plus sign for apply in between, otherwise it won't work so well. Almost done. Apply, and then this should be our last piece. That is also being dragged out. Apply. Okay. We can hit cancel at this point. This is exactly what we're looking for. This is what someone would look for if they wanted to put this together. Uh, we're going to save it. So I forgot to do that last time. And we'll call it presentation. This is also known as an exploded view. After it's saved, we can take it over to a drawing file. So let's open up a new drawing. And again, the default drawing is incorrect. We have to change the sheet size to a size paper. We have to change the ANSI large here. Hit the plus sign. Go to title blocks, you want ANSI A. And we're going to put in that explosion first. We want it to be in full color, that's shaded. We want an assembly of what the whole thing looks like together. If you have it open, it's right there. If you don't, you may have to go searching for it. We'll go with the home view on that as well. Shaded. And then we need, this might be a little tough to see. There it is. If you go to annotate, you want the parts list. It doesn't matter if you select the assembly or the presentation view. In this case, it only gave me the assembly as an option. And we're gonna put that right up there. I don't care for this description at this point, so I'm just going to completely delete it. We have our column chooser on the top left. Description, remove. And then we'll just shrink that down. And the last thing for this sheet is just adding balloons. So balloon, you only need to put on each part once. So even though I have two nuts, I only put on the first one. I have a separate top and bottom half, so those each get one. I'm going to label the keys. The keys do not come with it. 
and maybe that's something I could include in the description. And after you think you have them all, go back and count. So I have one, two, three, six, seven. Looks like I'm missing number five, which is key two. And that's just an easy way to make sure that you really did do everything you were supposed to do. All right, just kind of space this out so it looks nice and professional. I'm going to put in my name. And then the title for this is the Bill of Materials.